So again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. Let me know down below some comments if you like this kind of product. It really helps me out, helps the algorithm out on YouTube. So if you see this, and if you leave some comments down below, that would really help me. I really do appreciate that. Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm looking at a USB power meter. Uh, tester basically. So if you're looking to test the power of your batteries, test the uh, function, the power of your power supplies, things like that, uh, this seems to be the answer I think that uh, we're looking for. I'm going to show you a little bit about it. Uh, I ordered it online. Let's up and take a look at it together. Take it out of the case. And basically, it's just a little mini LED screen. Uh, I don't think it's LCD, but whatever it is. Uh, a little screen here. And basically, this measures the current, the milliamps, the voltage, things like that. Um, so if you're looking to find out how much amperage and, and how much things are drawing, uh, you can get real specific with some of these. This is a little inexpensive one, basically gives you an idea of um, voltage being used. Uh, so I got two examples here. I have a, my a MacBook Pro uh, 17 inch. It's dead. I want to plug that in and see how much that's drawing. And I have a um, iPad Pro right here and see uh, what that draws. So to use it, it's pretty simple. So you have to plug it in to see here if you look at it closely. It has the input and out, so in and out right here. Okay, USB can do USB, uh, USB C. Okay, there's a micro USB I believe in this one, um, and also standard USB 3.0 in and out over here. Then there's two sides here, and then the USB USB C is right here. Uh, so we do want you to just plug it in. Let's do that first. So you have to make sure you plug in the in to the in and out to the out, or it won't work. And you have to complete the circuit for it to work as well. So you have to make sure you plug in both ends first like that. And you're going to see it booting up and the iPad is just, I just heard it charging. Uh, so you can see roughly it's drawing around 15 volts. I have it on a heavy duty charger um, at 1.2 amps uh, right around there. Then dropping down a little bit to more of a slow trickle charge because this is almost full on the iPad. But I want you to see what this looks like, give you an idea, you know, what you're working with. Uh, let's get different menus to access the menus. There's four buttons here, two buttons here, and two buttons on top. And that's how you can cycle through the menu. And you see, let me get a close-up so you can see here. So it says next. And you can click on that and it gives you the amp hours, milliamp hours, things like that. It gives you all kinds of data for cable transmission, signal, all that kind of stuff. Also gives you a graph. So you can take a look at that too. So you can do a lot of diagnostic with this, or if you just want to see if your thing is working or not working. <laughs> uh, so 15.9 volts. At, this is a 100 watt uh, charge I'm using. This is for my MacBook Pro, but I'm actually plugging into my iPad. Uh, and you can see it as the iPad is drawing it down a little bit. It's almost full. But it's getting 15 volts at the point, a little half an amp approximately. The trickle charges up to about 100%. So let's unplug this. So we'll take that out and it'll shut off as you can see. And I'm going to plug it into my MacBook Pro. Let it boot up again. Let's see what this is going to do. So now we have 20, 20 volts. Uh, and you can see here. So it's basically, it's going to charge the battery. The battery, like I said before, is totally dead. And you'll see the amperage picking up on here. So it's going to go three amps, four amps. It's going to really start really pushing this battery to charge. Uh, this thing is redlined. It's dead. It's out. It's So it's going to completely charge from zero. But you can see 20.10 20, 20 volts. Uh, being kicked out of this in 3.4, 5 amps. It's jumping all around the amperage, but you can see at least it's doing its job. It's, it's pushing what it needs to push to charge your devices. Again, it does depend on cables. Don't forget, cables are important. Uh, laptop just actually just went on just now. I'm just coming back to life. Uh, so you can see how important it is to charge your devices and to see what they're doing. And this device here, definitely recommend this device here. It really works well. It's simple to use. Um, and I think it's, it has some value to it. So I definitely think this is the way to go if you check in, you know, and it's very inexpensive. Uh, I'll leave a link down below in the description in this video. I do get a small commission, a small affiliate link. Um, it does help my channel, help support me. So that's, um, would be appreciate that. So go right ahead and do that just to be clear and transparent. And I did buy this myself. The company did not send this to me just to be clear and transparent. So I did purchase this myself. Uh, I wanted to make sure my devices were charging correctly and the comes sometimes they do, um, deteriorate over time. And I think that's what this is for a small investment to really keep track of what's going on and check your devices and check your power supplies and make sure things are working correctly. So this is drawing the right, you can see it directly, it's drawing the right voltage, uh, the right current that's going to charge this iPad pretty quick, I'd imagine. And um, shouldn't be any issues at all. So that's what I have for you today. Just wanted to bring this to your attention. Want to show you what it looks like. Uh, it looks like you're going to get electrocuted from it. <laughs> uh, this is what it looks like. Just I would just keep my fingers off all that and just just keep it like this here. 
Uh, it does give you the temperature, the Celsius, Fahrenheit, CPU usage, all kinds of different things, how much power it's using from the actual device. Um, but I think it's really a great little device. I think this is a really handy tool to have when you want to make sure things are working correctly. And you can see it's just cranking some almost four amps, which is quite a bit, and also 20 volts consistently. It's going to keep pushing, pushing, pushing to charge this battery up. Um, and it's just it just gives you all the data you need when you're checking. So definitely go ahead and check this item out. It's very reasonable. I'll leave a link below in the description at the end of the bottom of this video. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It does help support my channel. I do appreciate that. Everything I do raise within my channel does support me so I can bring some more tech and more gadgets like this to you. Uh, just on a side note, it is getting warm. Uh, I can feel it getting warm inside. It's probably, just, again, it's drawing, it's pull, pulling that current through this and measuring it. So it, this is going to get warm, uh, which is totally normal, just so you can see. So I want you to really get a nice shot of that. It's a good LCD screen, but I think it, it's pretty clear to read and um, it gives you the information and that's what we're looking for. That's the main thing. And I definitely like it. All right, guys, appreciate your time as always. Again, don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. Let me know down below some comments if you like this kind of product. It really helps me out, helps the algorithm out on YouTube. So if you see this and if you leave some comments down below, that would really help me. I really do appreciate that as well. And also like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of stuff. And if you don't, no problem. I appreciate you stopping by and watching this video as always. Take care and I'll see you at the next review.